hello students from this class onwards we can start new chapter called d block elements d block elements also called as the transition elements the d block elements can be defined as the the elements whose atoms the elements whose atoms in the ground state elements whose atoms in the ground state are in any one of its oxidation state in any one of its oxidation state have partially filled d orbital have partially filled d orbital so they contain partially filled d orbital those elements are called as the d block elements the d block elements definition is the elements whose atoms in the ground state or in any one of its oxidation state contains partially filled d orbitals those are called as the d block elements the properties of these d block elements changes from metallic to non metallic metallic to non metallic the properties of these elements changes from metallic to non metallic these d block elements why the properties change from metallic to non metallic mean they exist between the transist between s and p block the transist they exist between s and p block element s block elements are the metal p block elements are the non metals hence the properties changes from metallic to non metallic the transist the position in the periodic table is between s and the p block hence they are called as the transition element the transist between s and p block element and properties changes from metallic to non metallic hence they are called as the transition elements then next you consider the general property before going to the general property first you consider the classification classification the transition elements are mainly classified into four series transition or d block elements are classified into four series namely 3d series are also called as the first transition series 3D series are first transition series. 3D series are first transition series elements belongs to fourth period. Fourth period element. Fourth period element from scandium to zinc. Fourth period element from scandium to zinc are called as the first transition series element. Are called as the 3d <coughs> series element then second one is the 4d series are called as the second transition series second transition series nothing but the fifth period elements fifth period element that is yttrium to cadmium yttrium to why means the yttrium yttrium to cadmium those are called as the 4d series then 5d series 5d series or the third transition series third transition series nothing but the sixth period element sixth period element considered as the lanthanum lanthanum followed by hafnium to mercury lanthanum after lanthanum 14 elements are missing they are considered as an f block element lanthanum 
followed by Ophmium to Mercury. Those are called as the 5D series. Then similarly, 6D series called as the fourth four, 4D series. 4D transition series, 6D series, or four, fourth, four, fourth transition series, fourth transition series, fourth transition series. This uh, 6D series, it is incomplete series. Still, it is not completed. 6D name the incomplete transition series means the 6D series. That is generally seventh period elements. Seventh period elements. Seventh period elements. This is incomplete series. Octinum followed by the Rutherfordium. Octinum, octinum followed by the Rutherfordium. This 6D series, we are fourth transition series, which is an incomplete series. This is about the classification. First transition series called as the 3D series elements. They belongs to the fourth period, fourth period elements of scandium to zinc. Second transition series or 4D series, they belongs to fifth period, yttrium to cadmium. Then third transition series, nothing but the 5D series. They are belongs to the sixth period element, lanthanum followed by opmium to mercury. 6D series or 4th transition series, nothing but the 7th period element, which is an incomplete series, the elements of octinum followed by the Ruther Fordium. Then you study the electronic configuration. This chapter nearly carries 6 marks. 6 mark d block elements carries 6 mark from the general properties they can ask the one question for 3 mark then from there we have two transition element compounds like potassium dichromate and potassium permanganate from those compounds they can ask one question from the general properties it covers one question next you study the general properties first one is the electronic configuration the general electronic configuration of transition elements is noble gas, noble gas core, n minus 1d, 1 to 10, ns, 1 to 2. This is the general electronic configuration. Noble gas core, n minus 1d, 1 to 10, ns, 1 to 2. There are several exceptions. In that the configuration, there are several exceptions. Why there are several exceptional configurations? Mean there is a little energy difference. There is a small energy difference. There is a small little energy difference between the n minus one d and n s or tau. Between n minus 1d and ns orbital, there is a small energy difference, little energy difference. Hence, there are several exceptions in their electronic configuration. Then, half filled, half filled and completely filled, half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable. Half filled and completely filled orbitals are more stable in nature. Based on that one, the outer electronic configuration of chromium is 3D5 4S1. 3D5 4S1. Outermost of outermost electronic configuration of this chromium atom is 3D5 4S1 but not 3d4 4s2 but not 3d4 4s2 why configuration outermost electronic configuration of chromium is 3d5 4s1 mean because because of the energy gap energy gap between energy gap between 
3D and 4S orbital is very small. Energy gap between 3D and 4S orbital is small enough to prevent, that is very small enough to prevent the electron entering into the 3D orbital. 3D orbital. The reason why the configuration of chromium is 3D5 4S1 but not 3D4 4S2 means the energy gap between 3D and 4S is very small enough to prevent the electron entering into the 3D orbital. You have to concentrate on each and every reasons also because from the general properties only we can, we can ask one question for the three mark that may be directly three mark or they can split the questions for one mark or two mark hence you have to concentrate on each and every reasons then similarly the configuration of copper is 3d 10 4s1 but not 3D9 4S2. Configuration of copper is also 3D10 4S1 but not 3D9 4S2. For this one also the reason is same because energy gap between 3D and 4S is small enough to prevent the electron entering into the 3D orbital. Then the electronic configuration of the electronic configuration of zinc, cadmium and mercury. If you observe the configuration of zinc, cadmium and mercury, they have N minus 1, D, 10 and Ns2. Ns2. If you observe this configuration of zinc, cadmium and mercury, the D orbitals, D orbitals, of these elements not contains partial these uh, the orbitals of these elements contains completely filled the orbitals are completely filled they not contain partially filled they are completely filled in their uh, either in the ground state or in any common oxidation state there you observe the configuration of zinc cadmium and mercury they have n minus 1 d10 that is zinc means 3d10 4s2 cadmium means 4d10 5s2 like that that there by, by using general n minus 1 d10 ns2 that d orbital d subshell is completely filled either in the ground state or in the common oxidation state Hence, these elements, zinc, cadmium and mercury, they are not regarded as transition elements. Even this question asked for one more. Why zinc, cadmium and mercury, they are not regarded as a transition element? For that one, reason is that D orbital, D subshell is completely filled either in the ground state or in the common oxidation state. According to definition of the transition element, the element whose atoms in the ground state or in any one of its oxidation state must contains the partially filled d orbital that is the definition of the transition element the elements would term in the ground state or in the common oxidation state must contains partially filled d orbital but zinc cadmium and mercury they contains completely filled d orbital either in the ground state or in the common oxidation state hence these elements they are not regarded as the transition element then these elements they exhibit certain properties certain properties like other transition element certain properties like other transition element like complex formation 
this is most important property these elements shows the properties of the other transition element like the complex formation hence only they are placed under the transition element because of this reason zinc cadmium and mercury can also forms the complex like other transition element hence they are placed under the transition element then you take the copper copper configuration is 3d10 4s1 the copper also contains completely filled diorbital it not contain partially filled diorbital but in some compounds in certain compounds copper it can shows the plus 2 oxidation state in certain compounds copper shows the plus 2 oxidation state where configuration is 3d9 4s0 3d9 4s0 here the d subshell contains partially filled diorbital in the plus 2 oxidation state copper not completely filled diorbital Yeah, in it has partially filled diorbital therefore this copper under copper you can observe silver and gold copper silver and gold they are called transition elements they are called transition elements that copper in the ground state copper configuration is 3d10 4s1 it has completely filled So, uh, similar to zinc cadmium and mercury copper also contains completely filled diorbital even though it has completely filled diorbital in certain compound copper exhibit in plus 2 in plus 2 oxidation state configuration is 3d9 4s0 which has partially filled diorbital hence copper silver and gold they are called the transition element but zinc cadmium and mercury even in the common oxidation state of plus 2 if you write the plus 2 zn2 plus configuration zn2 plus configuration is 3d10 4s0 even in the common oxidation state of the zinc it has not contains partially filled diorbital hence zinc cadmium and mercury they are not regarded as the transition element but copper is placed and is regarded as an transition element because in plus 2 oxidation state copper contains partially filled diorbital this is about the electronic configuration in the next class we can study about the most very most important physical properties